Welcome. Welcome to the first session of the Hackathon on the first day. Today we are going to learn the basic framework of HTML and CSS. It's a simple um, um, idea or simple knowledge I'm going to share with you so that it can kickstart our whole journey for this whole program. Now, take HTML as a human being. So if you take a human being, the human being is a framework. Now, in this human being, we have components in this human being, or we have sessions, subsessions, in the, or sub-body in this human being. The human being has a head, the body, the foot. So the head, the body, and the foot. And even on this subcomponent we have sub organs so at the head the human body has the mouth the ear the eyes and at the body section you can find the various organs inside the liver the stomach the lung and so on the further section is also there where whereby you find the leg the toes the ankle and those on and so on that is the same concept we are going to apply in HTML and CSS. In HTML, we follow a certain framework pattern. Now, in HTML, we use things or we use syntax. When I say syntax, sentences, or we use words which are encapsulated in a tag, TBGs, tags. Tags, they are less than or greater than which have been put together and we've inserted word inside it. In HTML, it comes with tags. So wherever you start coding your HTML, remember your tags always. Now, the first tag you are supposed to remember when coding an HTML is the HTML tag. So my HTML tag. That's my less than the HTML, then my greater than. Very nice. Now, after this tag, you can see that I only type one tag, but I'm getting double tag. The first one is called an open tag, and the second one is called a closed tag. Now, the difference between these two tags are the first one, you can in between the tag you can see html but the latter one you can see a backslash before the html it's called a closing tag in between these two tags is where we are going to write our content or a lot of our code so we open this then we will start with our component as i said earlier we will take the human being as an example now we have a head, the body, and the footer. The same thing will apply to the HTML. So we will get the head, the body, and the footer tags. So straightforward, my head, that's my open head tag, and I close head tag. Then my body, that's my open body tag and my closed body tag. Then last, last one, the footer. So my open footer and my closed footer. This is the framework you are supposed to remember always. You are supposed to know every time. Now, in between these tags is where we are going to add a lot of our content. So we will go straight inside the head and we will add a title to our website or web app we are building. So here we'll bring the title tag. Title tag. I want you to see we have an open tag and a closed tag. So in between we can write our title. So I'll say my first app. Now after that, I'll move on to the body session. This is where I can add a whole lot of things to my body, my website. So I can say, welcome to 
my first site. Right now, let's go and check our preview. Now, in our preview, you can clearly see welcome to my first website. Nicely done. Let's go back to our code. We want to add a footer. So some most of the times you visit a website and the foot section they add their right and everything. So you can see develop by name. Then you mention your name very nicely. We can go and check is there. So welcome to my first site developed by me. Very simple. Now we can go now. We are going to the CSS and add some coloring and a whole lot of fonts to our website. Now in CSS, kindly take note. We don't use tags here. We call the session part of the body that we want to style it. So if I want to style the body section of my website or my app, I'll call the body. So body. Then I'll bring a curly bracket and open and close curly bracket. And I'll open the curly bracket here. And maybe I'll add a color to my website. I'll say background color. Background dash color. I'll say black. So I want my background color to be black. Then I'll bring a semicolon. So background dash color colon. Then I'll indicate the value which it is which is black. Then I'll bring a semicolon. Very very simple. Now I can also add a lot more so I can increase the size of my content. So I can say font size. Now I'll give it eighteen pixels. Then I'll animate it with a semicolon. Let's go back to our preview and watch what happens. Now, we've come back to our preview. One thing you are going to realize is everything has turned black. Yes, it's because we've changed the background color to black. Meanwhile, realizing our test color here was black. So if we highlight here, we can see our test color here, meaning we've we, we, we having the, the, the normal test color is black and we've changed the background to, to black so we can't see it. So let's go back to our CSS and change the test color to something we can see. So when you come to your CSS, let's type color. So let's change it to white and a semicolon. You go back and the white has come nicely. We want to push this to the center of our website. We will go back to our CSS and we say test align. Then we will say center. So it's going to be at the center section. We will go back and it has been pushed to the center of our website. Very simple and neatly. Now, in the body session, let's go back to our HTML. We have so many things we can add to the body session. One, we can add a heading to our website and paragraphs to our website. So, for example, if you want to add a heading, a heading, a head to a website, we represent it with the letter H tag. So, you, you begin with the H tag, to open and close H tag, and I'll say welcome to my site again we want to add some paragraphs to our website paragraphs where we can describe what our website do so in the in, in the tag we have a p open and close p tags that has the paragraph tag then i will type this site offers a lot of fun services nicely done 
we can also go ahead and bring another things so we can list a lot of things on our website so we can see li li means list so we can see such as a lot of things such as food we have food on our website we have let, let's bring let's try and make it more we have water on our website we have let's list it more beverage on our website so let's go back to our website and view now you can see on our website welcome to my website this site offers a lot of services food water beverage right now again again let's go back to our css we want to start this let's go back to our css in our css we will get out of this body tag then bring another one so we want to call the session we want to start so we are calling you see the first one we want to start the body so we call the body the second one we want to start heading so we are calling the heading which is letter h then we will bring Curly bracket. In our curly bracket, we can specify a lot of. So we want to change the color of our text in the page. That's a welcome to my side. We want to change it to color red semicolon. We will go back to our preview and see the color has been changed to red. Let's go back and add more. We want to change the color of our paragraph. So we call the letter P because the paragraph is represented with P and it is in the type P. P. Then in the P, we add a color to it. We want to make it blue or better still yellow. Then we can make it. You go back here, then you can see this site offers a lot of services. Has turned yellow. You can you can do it your color of your preference. Now we can go back and see and, and try and bring the list. Maybe we can see in the list the list we've listed. Can make the color blue. Now you can see our list has turned the color blue. Now let's go back and, and change the color of developed by me, our footer. So we we'll go back to our CSS and call the footer. Since it's in the tag footer, we we'll call the footer. So in the footer, we want to change the color. We want to make it color so I'll bring the color my colon then my value then I will terminate it pink so I come you can see it has turned to color pink we want to add some bit of animation so that our 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 foot right can be moving we will go back to our HTML and add some So the tag called Macri, Macri. We we'll put it around the developed by me, and let's go and check. So you can see developed by me is moving. This is the framework I want you to know from the beginning of our hackathon session. We will be building upon this every day using CSS and HTML only. You can start to build your app from here. Thank you for watching this video. In case you want to go through the code, here is the code. We have your HTML tag, closing HTML tag. We have your head tag, head tag. 
you have your title tag in which the title tag we have the title my first app. now you have your body tag yeah your body tag open body tag and a close body tag in between the body tag we have our heading which is in the header tag we have our paragraph which is in the p tag and the paragraph tag we have the list of our services which is in the li the list tag after that we brought our footer tag whereby we we encapsulated with the marquee the moving feature then we wrote our rights to the footer very very simple we wanted to style it so we went straight forward to the css now we called where the session where we want to style it is where we will call so we called the body session so body we took body here a curly bracket then the features or the attributes we want to add then we add the value so background color colon then the value black then a semicolon we call this then we want to also um, um style the heading we call the h the heading we styled it we call the paragraph the p here then we start it then we call the list the li we also start it then we call the footer here then we start it kindly download your html and css resources book from the i called and you can get a lot of attributes to apply to your css we will meet again in the next session thank you